Now, this class is also based on a question which has been asked in NSO exam. Uh, and it is also the same question has been also been asked uh, in the JEE exam, in the mains exam. And the question is, what is the minimum height of the mirror required for a person to see himself? Now, I am a person, I am standing in front of a mirror. Let's say that there is a mirror here. I can clearly see that if I make the height of the mirror small, 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 there will be a point after which I would not be able to completely see myself. Only a portion of me would be uh, visible uh, uh, in the in the mirror. Now I have been asked that what is the height of the mirror uh, till till which I would be able to completely see myself. Now this problem is actually solved very very easily using ray optics, which means that we draw the light rays. Now here is the person. This is our person now. Unfortunately, in this diagram, the person came out as a bar, but it's, it's good. <laughs> it's good for our uh, representation. It's good enough representation. Now, let's say that these are the eyes of the person. So, eye of the person is right here, and this is my person P. Now, this person P is of height H. Now, of course, we also know that because it's a plane mirror, the image in the mirror would also be at the height H. Another thing to note is that if the person is standing at a distance of x from the mirror, the image would form would be formed x distance inside the mirror. Okay, so the image is actually formed inside the mirror. It is formed on the other side. And the the when you look at yourself in the in the mirror, the other person, the mirror person, is actually standing on the other side of the mirror. The image is actually on the other side of the uh, mirror. And it is the same distance on the inside as you are standing outside the mirror. So you are standing a distance x from mirror. The image would be formed x distance inside the mirror. Now that that all of those things are given. We already know that these are the properties of plane mirror. Now what I need to see is that I would be able to see myself completely. Now this is the person. Like I said, this is the person. This is me. Okay. <laughs> or, <coughs> or it could be you. <coughs> <coughs> okay it is it is the person they are trying to see their image in the mirror and they would be able to completely see if the light ray from the feet of this image which is going like this line c e is able to reach them and also the light ray from d which is the top of the image is also able to reach c which is our eye both the light ray from E as well as from D should be able to reach C. We need minimum that much height of the mirror. And what is that minimum height? That minimum height is actually AF. Now we need to find out what AF is. How does AF relate to H? For that, we use the concept of similar triangles. See, similar triangles, what does that tell us? Uh, uh, the, the concept of similar triangle, what does this, that tell us? First of all, we will try to prove that triangle C A F is actually similar to triangle C D E. Okay. <clears throat> For that, we notice that A F and D E are parallel. Also, the side uh, C A, this particular side C D is common, and the side C F E is also common. So, which makes this particular triangle similar. Now, once we have proved that the, which makes these two triangles CAF and triangle CDE actually similar. Now, once we know that these two triangles are similar, then we can say that the ratio of height DE, DE is the height in the larger triangle and AF is the height in the smaller triangle would be same as the height CD upon CA. Now CD is actually 2x and CA is actually x. So this x and this x cancel and if the height of the person we are saying is DE which is H which means that H upon AF which is the height of the uh, mirror let's call it M is equal to 2 and this implies that my m is actually equal to half h by 2 which means that my mirror should be at least half the height of the person and as long as that happens the person would be able to completely see himself in the mirror no matter where it is standing see x can be anything it does not really matter 
okay and this is how we solve this particular problem now <clears throat> this uh, this is the concept uh, using which several problems have been asked but ultimately the the underlying thing that we need to understand here is that it is a uh, simple ray optics properties of plane mirror and on top of it we have also used the concept of similar triangle so all of these three together we will be able to solve this uh,